So let's talk about these, obviously, turbo wastegate blankets. I mean, I've seen them before. You've, you've definitely seen them before. But <laughs> Once or twice. This is a, a kind of a relatively new product on the market. But going back a couple of hours ago when we were talking about your turbo blankets, you were telling me that you guys are really the only people out there that have mastered the art of getting this technology together exactly how you need it. And that is by sewing the stainless steel and the insulation all together with this heat shield. Exactly, exactly. And it's something that we're very proud of. And you know, in 2020, we released our kind of Mark III turbo blanket. And along with that, anything else on the hot side, um, you know, it only uses the same technology. Um, there's four different four different layers in there. And, but the main thing is, which you'd always see, is every time you'd see remove a turbo blanket, you'd see all the seams just coming apart. Essentially every panel separate. So you can see there, there's a top panel, there's another panel, and you might still see this now, but it's becoming less and less common because there are a lot more people using Funk products. But previously it was a huge issue and people were getting very frustrated because, you know, turbo blankets, they do a great job, but um, you know, obviously people, they were getting a bit frustrated because they're spending the money and maybe they're getting a failure just straight after removal. They'd work, but then as soon as you remove, that was a problem. That might be 10 years later, that might be five minutes later, straight after a heat cycle. That's something that we really vowed and really tried work. We put a lot of effort in. We put 18 months to two years developing just to try to find it. We found the issue, we found the solution. And it's not necessarily, I say issue, it was, you know, along any turbo blanket manufacturer, it was exactly the same. And in actual fact, we found, um, the items that were required, but then is very difficult to then work with. And no one no one else on the market really understood how to get these items to stay together, go together with, with the thread, with the, the construction, with the insulation, all of it had to come together. And we have come up with some unique um, unique product properties to be able to remove. And you can, you can see some other items that they've used around here, turbo blankets that have come off, gone on, come off, gone on. And that's ultimately what durability is all about. So what you don't, what we don't, what we really didn't want, sorry, is someone to be able to remove it because they have to because they've got an issue with something else and yeah. suddenly now they're, they're you know have to pay out for another turbo again. blanket yeah, but at the same time in the process we en ended up actually upgrading all our insulation to even further to get the kind of high high temperature reductions that you kind of see with our new products so there we go um we were just talking about heat a minute ago as well um and, and i think yeah i mean a lot everyone knows 200 degrees yes yeah, 200 degrees I mean, that's yeah. just like cook, putting your pizza in the oven, right? Well, 200 you, degrees. Yeah, you are right. Sticking your degrees. hand in there and Which saying... Which you do, though, yeah. yeah right. Yeah. But, I mean, if theoretically, if you had a, a, a funk turbo blanket on, you could easily put your hand easily. in and Easily, yeah, of course. So that just goes to show you how much these products are dropping temperatures. And you were saying to me, you know, typically exhaust manifolds and turbos, external wastegate, seven, 800 degrees. This will drop 200 degrees. Dropped two 200 degrees. Two 200 two, degrees. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, that's a 500 degree drop huge i mean and especially i mean for our application it is necessary because of, of we're making in excess of a thousand horsepower and and the turbos and the waste case are right up in the engine bay but even for you guys using this on your own car your road car that's a huge huge benefit and, and of course we all know heat saps power from 100 percent, 100 percent. and sorry just to just to clarify something there so two the drop to 200 degrees was typically on the exhaust wrap but in actual fact the turbo blankets and the wastegate blankets and exhaust blankets will drop it down to 100 degrees so even further and you really will struggle to find another another solution out there that's very similar i mean there is probably one other solution on the market that will work very similar but the problem is they'll hold the heat and then they'll cause heat soak especially after you've turned that engine off because you know other solutions um you know will will essentially do that just from their makeup but like i say textile products you know that a lot of companies and a lot of race teams they are kind of going back towards textiles because they are realizing and how powerful they are and now obviously with the durability steps that we've made it makes a huge difference and there we go and it's a foolproof easy way to install it as well i mean look we've got obviously got this external wastegate off on the bench and exactly. it, it's, it's easy to work with but again you guys no messing around you even supply the, <laughs> the fixings exactly. as well so i mean this is pretty simple self-explanatory this is as you mentioned earlier just some lock wire um, we loop it around go across the underside of the external wastegate to hold that bottom part on around the other pin and tying it all up. Exactly. It, job done, holds it on there, exactly. does the job. And, and if you do need more, you can get that from kind of, of anywhere. Yeah, any motorsport, um, you know, supplies. It's, it's relatively easy, it's very easy to fit. You can fit that in your car, you can fit that off the car really straightforward and at the same time you're going to you're going to be really getting those benefits and huge thing which a lot of people tend to overthink or don't think about too much with um, uh, wastegates is 
Inside here, there's a very thin diaphragm, and that's the whole point of a, a wastegate blanket. So it's slightly different to a turbo blanket where you're stopping the heat radiating. Yes, you are doing that. But at the same time, in here, there is a diaphragm, which in time, after it's heating and cooling, heating and cooling, that can start to produce boost leaks because the seal isn't quite as good. So by putting a, a wastegate jacket there, or wastegate blanket, sorry, um, you're gonna stop that heat radiating from the wastegate itself into the diaphragm and try to reduce that wear over time. So therefore, you're just gonna get more consistent performance, more durability from everything, not just the wastegate, not just the coolant pipes, not just the, the boost pipes, everything, um, you know, performance detection reliability that's that's I've said that is the key right that it. is the key keep your keep your stuff safe keep it under temps and keep it working for a long time exactly right, i'll grab my log wire pliers and i'll just great I'll lock, stuff i'll lock wire that that's on there cool. so what whilst um ian here he's got some really fancy uh lock wire lock wire tools uh you don't necessarily need that you could do it with um do it just with an, a normal pair of pliers and you can see there He's just looped around the anchor point. And again, there's no, there's no right, there's no wrong. You can go underneath or over the top, but um, Ian there is elected to go underneath. And that's it, simple as that. As soon as he's fastened that in place, that's it, you're secure. There we go, gets through all those sharp edges. As easy as that, seconds exactly. to fit, does the job, keeps the temps under control. Exactly.